Hello, I'm Dominic. I'm the technical architect for the Sidechains Toolkit, and I'm here to talk about it. So let's get into it. First of all, um, it's always great to get called out during the keynote. That's awesome and never stressful. But um, what is the toolkit? What is Sidechains, and what, why are we doing this? What, why, why are we uh, spending time on it and investing heavily in it? So the first thing about the Cardano community and the Cardano ecosystem is we know it, it's great, it's innovative, and we want to empower it. We want to build on it. We want to append to it. We want to make it better. We want to give it uh, the tools needed for growth. And the infamous, or maybe famous, Project Mamba, which has been already talked about during consensus, is one, our first step towards that. So we've spent time building a client that is capable of becoming a sidechain. So sidechain, that's a buzzword, if I've ever heard, what, heard one. So what is it? What is a sidechain? Uh, there's for sure a formal definition, and I don't want to go into that. I want to have an informal definition for today. So what is a sidechain in this, in this use case, in this, in this particular talk? It's a communication pattern. It's a way of moving data between two chains. There is a main chain, which is oblivious to the fact that there's a sidechain, and there's a sidechain, which is doing the heavy lifting of the relationship between the two. So that's the sidechain. Let's, let's leave it at that for now. But the interesting question about it is, why are we doing it, right? So I've mentioned community. I've mentioned growth. I've mentioned um, going from, no, going from one sidechain that we're building currently into multiple sidechains. So we've started. We've, we are on, the, on track to build the first sidechain for Cardano. This is the EVM example sidechain. Um, and going from that sidechain to a toolkit is what we want to, want to do. That, that is the, the thing of interest. That is the set of tools that we want to bring to the community and empower the community via this set of tools. So, in the previous definition, there's the main chain, that's Cardano, our core root of trust, the thing that we can actually leverage, the thing that we can actually utilize to build a sidechain. And Mamba is one of the clients, one of the potential sidechains that can be out there. But as, many, as Charles already mentioned, there's Mithril, there's potential for other clients to be built, like uh, Tendermint and so on and so forth. Right? So, this is the beginning of the journey. I want to stress that and make that extremely clear. We are beginning. Yeah. This lopsided uh, structure between main chain and side chain gives us one interesting characteristic. It's actually very easy for a side chain to fail if we choose to allow it to, without taking well, without taking much out of the main chain or any, any other side chains, right? So they're perfect for experimentation, but also if you want them to be um, well-behaved and secure, they're also stable and secure and good to trust your value with. So that's a little bit of technical stuff around. Well, let's get into the technical stuff. That's what I want to talk about. That's the interesting part for me. Um, so what is a sidechain? What is the sidechain toolkit in particular? We have the main chain, and on main chain scripts allow us to establish the relationship between main chain and sidechain. So data is being managed on main chain. There is a set of Pluto scripts that do that, that allow us to maintain a sidechain. Um, besides that, there is also a chain follower, a piece of logic, general purpose piece of logic that is allowing us to observe data from main chain and somehow transform it on the sidechain via the sidechains module. So that's the three components that we consider the toolkit. Now, circling back to Mamba, the first TVM sidechain from Cardano, for Cardano from IOG, is um, all of these are implemented in a very particular way. So there is a solution for this problem that we find 
meets the requirements that we set out to meet, right? So there's a lot of we, which I don't like. Um, so the question is, what should the toolkit be? That's the question, right? What, what should it do? What should it empower people to do? So for the first iteration, again, we're starting, we'll give the community the EVM sidechain example, how to do it, how we find it should be done. But this doesn't answer the question, what's your problem? What's your technical problem? What's your challenge? What's, what's your business requirement? This doesn't answer that question, and for sure it doesn't answer uh, that, the question about how to technically solve it, right? So this is an invitation for the community to tell us Tell us, how do you want your, tool, your side chains built? Uh, I know for a fact there are people that are looking forward to this discussion because I had those discussions yesterday. So that's the toolkit, right? That's the pattern of communication between main chain and side chain. And I'll stay on this slide because I like it um, to harper on the flows, the communication flows between main chain and side chain, right? So, if you think about it, if you, if you really think about it, there's a dependency between main chain and side chain, um, and side chain to main chain. So having this relationship between main chain and side chain means I am capable of reading data from the main, main chain. So this is the passive flow. And enacting it on the side chain. The, the active flow, internally, internally named, Great names, that's Kevin's point, um, is the ability to express data from the sidechain to the main chain, right? So again, stepping back, abstracting from a very particular Mamba sidechain into, um, into a more general flow pattern of communication. We have the passive flow, we have the active flow, we have the three main components that we have, we've identified. And that's the toolkit, right? That, that would be the toolkit. I would say the toolkit version three, maybe version four. But why, right? Why are we doing it? The toolkit is a pattern. You can apply the, this pattern and get a new sidechain. And we, we are aiming to support. We are aiming to empower. We are aiming to give the Cardano community a way to express themselves, solve their problems, solve their business challenges. So we're giving a tool set that allows the community to do what they need to do, right? So these are example uh, deployments for sidechains. I'm sure they're not complete, and that's the point. It, we don't know, you tell us. And again, this is an invitation for, a, for communication. Stepping back a little bit, I want to, well, that was my, my technical part, the architect part that I like. But let's talk about the community, right? Let's talk about enabling and empowering. Um, being uh, in a growing and Coming from a singular system, right? Coming from Cardano, we know that there is, it's growing, it's be becoming bigger and better every year, but it's not like it's, it's easy to change it to your will, right? So the point, the purpose of the toolkit, the purpose of the sidechains is to go uh, enable people, enable communities, enable policymakers to experiment or to just leverage Cardano as is to become something bigger and better and um, more encompassing, like a bigger ecosystem. So um, that's this slide. But this also means that the community around it will be more diverse and there will be hopefully more sidechains and those sidechains will grow and those sidechains will become their own thing. And we want to maintain this ecosystem. We want to maintain this uh, family of sidechains as a bigger and better thing uh, 
this means this is a this means it's it's a great opportunity, but also it's a challenge for us because we have to somehow enable this, right? So, one of the challenges that are, that are co upcoming for um, building those diverse self-sovereign uh, solutions will be how do we maintain them into uh, a common ecosystem um, which can grow together and then come together to become bigger. So that's one of the things that are for sure coming in. So again, this is the beginning of the journey. This is the first step, maybe the second one. And to Harper even more on this point, we are leveraging Cardano, right? And Cardano is growing and it's changing. And we, ha we have to not only adapt, but also leverage the fact that there's Cardano, right? So again, even if nothing else changes, if even there is no new sidechains, Cardano will grow and will become bigger and better. And this growth for the sidechains and the toolkit will, will have to encompass this and accommodate for that, right? So there's, there's a challenge there also, right? Again, first step, but we need to be aware of that and we need to take that into account. I'll go back to my favorite question, but why, right? I see the community as a growing, uh, growing one and a, an extremely innovative and uh, keen to adapt and keen to deal with and keen to, keen to grab the tools that are at hand and force the issue, solve the problem, right? That's a great uh, an entrepreneurship ap approach to dealing with problems. but. It would be nice to cross the gap, get to the uh, place of maturity, of blockchain adoption, of uh, being actually uh, in a comfortable spot where real-life problems are being solved by this technology. And we see sidechains as a way of growing the Cardano ecosystem and the Cardano community into something bigger and better and making room for innovation, making room for dealing with crazy ideas that would never make it their way into the Cardano node itself, but have room on the sidechain, right? So that's that. that, that's the North Star for this project. And again, first step, right? Hopefully we are able to involve the community and get you guys interested in those sidechains, because honestly, we have ideas, right? We know some things, how this whole toolkit should look like, but we need information, we need more. We need to know where to go, where to rather this, this boat and how to deal with, how does the main chain part look like? How, does this, the, how we upgrade those scripts, how we deal with that. So there you go. I'm sure I forgot like 10 points or 11, but there you go. Um, the most important part here, like the most important takeaway is, this is the first step and we're welcoming the discussion and we're welc welcoming the, the, the communication about it because we see it as one of the platforms that goes from Cardano as a singular island on an ocean into a community, an ecosystem that can uh, accommodate for many ideas, many communities and so on and so forth. So that's it from this, for this presentation and from me live, but there's also a recording of, a, of the passive flow. So if you're willing to stick for it, it's 10 minutes, bear with me. Thanks.